Hey what's up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here and I am back for another Visual Studio tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an auto updater. Now this is not very hard to do at all, it's pretty easy. You're going to need one thing to get this to work, you're going to need either a web host or Dropbox. I'm sure you can use other things but that's what I used before and they work very well. Today I'm going to be using Dropbox because it's free, it's easy and why not really. So um, I'm going to hop right in here and create a new project. Get that going. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do it with a button, but you can put it under the form load. So every time you open the form, it'll automatically check for an update. That's up to you. We'll grab a button here. And we're going to quickly rename it to check for updates. Okay. I'll make this a little bit smaller because why not? We're going to open up our button here, go into the code. First, we need to go to the very top and go to imports or type imports system.net. That'll just import the libraries that we need to get this to work. Now, right below, well, you can do this uh, either in the private sub itself or above. I like to do it above. We're going to do dim wc or whatever you want as new make sure you get the new web client there we go now under our button public sub or private sub whatever it is you're going to quickly type dim and then v for version as string equals and then we're going to do wc so web client dot download string get a bracket to our quotes here and now this is where you will put either your web host link or your website link um, or Dropbox. Now I'm going to be using Dropbox, so we're going to quickly open my Dropbox folder here. And we are going to create a new text file. I'm going to name it V for version again too. And we're going to open that file. And in here we're going to put 1.0.0.0. Now make sure you put that or whatever the current version of your program is if you are adding this to a program that you've already made. So um, now that we've got that, we can put that back over here. We can close, actually no, we're not going to close it yet. We're going to right click on our file. Now if you don't have Dropbox installed on your computer, you're just going to have to go to the website and do pretty much the same thing. Right click on the file and click copy Dropbox link. Okay, now we've got that copied. In our program here, we're going to go in between the quotes. We're going to paste that link. Now, one thing you have to make sure you do, I don't really know why to be honest, but at the end of the link, there's a zero. And now this is just for Dropbox. If that's for, if you're using a website or something like that, you don't have to do this. But for Dropbox, you need to replace that zero at the end of the link with a one. Make sure you do that or else it will not work. Okay, now that we got that, we're going to go right below here and we're going to do if and then we're going to do v, so our version that we got earlier, v dot contains. We're going to put up brackets here, and we're going to do product version. Oops, I didn't mean press under there. Go back. Product version, and then we're going to do then. So if it does contain the product, the product version, that means it's up to date. So you're not going to really want to do anything. So we'll leave it like that. And to make this a little bit easier, we're gonna do if it doesn't, so we're gonna do equals false. So if it doesn't contain it, I don't know what happened there. We're gonna do, now you can do whatever you want here. You can either download the file and update it. You can put out a message box. You can open your website. You can watch my other tutorials to see how to open websites and stuff like that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna do a quick MSG box. And we're gonna do there are new updates. Now that's all you're gonna have to do, but for the tutorial, I'm gonna do an else statement so you guys can see if there's not updates. No updates. Okay, so if you remember our Dropbox file over here, it has the product version here. Now we're gonna go into here. I'm just gonna show you guys real fast. Go to the very bottom, it'll say your project name and properties. 
that's under the project um, if you didn't see that and I believe if we click uh, where is it at? assembly information there we go here is our version so by default it's 1.0.0.0 that's the very first version and yeah so if your program's new or if you haven't changed it that's what it's going to be so whenever you update your program you're going to have to change this right here and then publish your program and change it in the Dropbox folder to make sure it's up to date. So any file or any version of your program that does not have the version that's in here will have the notification to update. So we test this real fast. If we start, click the button, it'll load for a second, no updates. Now if we go into here and we say, okay, we update our program to 2.0 and save that and we check again now this is a dropbox folder by the way so if you don't have dropbox installed you'd be doing that on the website if we check that again there are new updates so um there we go that's how you do it pretty much very easy of course we can change that back to zero no more new updates and there we go so very easy to do not hard at all and with this method here you could do a lot of things you don't have to just check for updates you could check if this file contains anything really so um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video please give me a like um comment if it worked comment if it didn't i'll try to help you and until next time guys i hope you guys have a great day and bye bye